Hello and welcome everybody and thank you for joining into the quick update news video. We finally have a roadmap and just as I said in yesterday's stream that we should really get the roadmap before the next maintenance. Here it is. We have finally been heard. And boy, I've been poked. Like I was, I'm was, i straight here from work so this is going to be very nitty gritty here on my part. So many people messaged me and said that we're going to get Lance Master or Glavier, Glavier, whatever the name it actually is. And I didn't believe them until I saw the news. We're finally getting Lance Master or Glavier in the Western servers. Now, this is going to be a sad moment. So a moment of silence for all the Deadeye mains. Because that means my Deadeye is going to stay put where he is. And I'm going to roll over to Lance Master or Glavier. So, yeah. I'm on the flip side. I'm very happy I didn't push my Deadeye much higher than I did. Because I did not expect this, I really didn't, especially not after saying Arcanist and Destroyer. I'm very pleasantly surprised to see Glavier making uh, the way in. Aside from that, we're getting South Burn, which means we probably get the weekly Chaos Dungeon, which is a lot of new stuff. We're getting new uh, Chaos Dungeons and potentially even more. Also, the storyline in South Burn gives you a lot of card decks and a lot of juicy stuff, especially important to do on any L that can do South Burn. I highly recommend everybody to do this. There are an insane, I think there's like 40 or 50 random card decks in the entire South Burn story. So I definitely recommend everybody to do it if you find the time to do it. Aside from that, we are getting something else. They are also mentioning a Phaeton Power Pass. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the Fate and Power Pass is going to be available through the cash shop or if it's going to be an event because they're talking about in-game events, login rewards, store updates, and they spell now a Fate and Power Pass. In the past, the Power Passes were just giving to us, so I'm not, I'm not sure if they were going to make a paid version of this or if we're just going to get one, especially since they say to get your new characters to item level 960, which is just in Fate and either on Glavia or any character you like. So what I personally feel is like everybody is going to get a free boost to item level 960 on any character of their choosing. At least I would hope that it's going to be a free boost. I think paid boosts will definitely be showing, but not anytime soon. I feel like paid boosts are probably going to be coming in a couple months, the earliest. Aside from that, quality of life, the secret maps are now going to be just, they're going to be runnable so much easier improved book of coordinations and some other things then they mentioned stuff that we're gonna get in may now destroyer is most likely the next class that we're gonna get trial garden raids probably the weekly garden raids i'm not sure if that's the name because they're called challenge garden raids but that might be you know that might just be a translation issue this should be weekly garden raids which means more materials and more stuff to do per character per week these are also often called weekly guardians in case you don't know, this is what they're talking about. Balton and Descaluda are scheduled for May. So probably within the next six to seven weeks. But they're, they're even already saying here that if they feel like the players are not there, they will delay it. To be fair, depending on how many materials and how, many, like how much stuff they're actually going to give us, hitting 1415 is still going to be quite a challenge for a lot of people. But maybe that's what their goal is to keep like a steady flow of people, you know, wanting to come into higher item levels. I'm not entirely sure yet about this. I feel like even in May, it really depends on how generous they are in terms of events and how many materials they were going to give us more. Because upgrading to 1415 is pretty painful, not gonna lie. It's pretty challenging. Aside from this, we have Destroyer as the next class announced. And here they actually talked about it, a weekly activity. So these are our weekly gardens and a bunch of other quality of life updates. Descaluda is the poison or toxin version of Helgaia or Frostgaia. Way easier to handle though, pretty good. And Legion Raid, normal hard mode Valton. Normal should start at item level 1415. The hard mode should start at 1445. It's gonna be challenging for a lot of people to get there, but 1415 is definitely the next step of what we're looking at. Anyways, this is all for today's update. Thank you everybody for joining me and sorry for this uh, hastily video. I'll see you guys in the next stream or the next video. Do stay safe, do stay healthy, take care, and the usual see ya.